In this lecture, we will learn about working with audio files with Python's speech recognition module. First, we need to have an audio file in the same directory as the Python file we are running. To do this, first download the sample audio file attached to this lecture as a course resource, or grab an audio file with some speech in it. One key point is that you need to use a WAV file, no MP3 or MP4 files, please. Next, you want to right-click on the tab for our Python file and click Show in Explorer, just like we did in the last lecture. We can click and drag the WAV file directly into this folder. Up at the top of the code, we will import the speech recognition module. Then we will create a variable named Recognizer and set it equal to speechrecognition.recognizer. Time to work with this audio file. The speech recognition module gives us the audio file class we can use to work with audio files. Let's create a variable named sample audio and set it equal to speech recognition .audio file. We will pass in the name of the audio file and its file extension. If you are using the file I provided with this lecture, the name is sample audio file .wave. The next step is to get our recognizer object to record the audio for it to be able to interact with it. To do this, we can type with sample audio as source and then a colon. Indented underneath this, we will set audio equal to recognizer.record and pass in sample audio. If this worked, we will now have an audio data object we can work with. To check that, we can print out a call to Python's type function and pass in audio. When we run the code, you will notice that our audio object is of type audio data. Okay, here comes the fun part. We are about to run a function that will take any speech in the audio file and convert it into text printed to the PyCharm console. In the sample audio file, I say the name of the course, Complete Python Programming Course, Beginner to Expert. Let's print out the result of a call to recognizer.recognizeGoogle and pass in audio. When we run the code, you will notice that the speech in the audio was converted to text, which was then printed out to the console. In the next lecture, we will learn about working with microphones in Python's speech recognition package.